Uh, good evening. My name's uh, Rowan Holzberger. I'm Labor's federal candidate for Ford. Uh, thank you to the Park Ridge News for convening tonight and thank you everybody for coming along. Um, of course, I would love to be there, but I've got COVID and so I'm banished at home for about seven days. Um, but I really appreciate this opportunity to make a video recording, uh, even if I feel a little bit nervous because making uh, because doing this is a bit like uh, putting a post, a comment on Facebook, you never quite know how it's going to be interpreted. So I thought I might uh, talk about some of the experiences uh, that have given me the values that I, I have today. So I live in Beanley, it's where the Holzburgers came to in the 1850s and it's where uh, our daughter goes to school today. Spent a lifetime working in farming, I was a contract musterer and, uh, and uh, had a small business and from about 2005 ran a construction company in Beanley. Uh, what that taught me is that Australians uh, value above all else having a go, but that it is getting harder and harder for Australians to get ahead today. And for the first time in my lifetime, we're seeing living standards go backwards. So I think that um, the um, the philosophy, I guess, that, that I have is that it's a bit of that old Australia where governments used to intervene to keep the cost of living down. Not only is it a benefit to individuals, but it's a benefit to the economy. So we used to build public housing. Uh, we used to su provide subsidised electricity. Again, not just to help the individuals, but by keeping that cost of living down, you kept the pressure off wages, and that meant that we were able to help business. In fact, that's how we attracted a manufacturing business to Australia post Second World War. And over the last 10 years, we've seen a government with a deliberate policy to keep wages down but also that has completely dropped the ball on the cost of living so that the cost of housing is getting out of control. The cost of seeing a doctor now, where it in fact used to be free, is now you know, $85 a visit. The cost of childcare is out of control. And that's why I'm really confident that Labor does have a plan for a better future, where we will invest in cheaper childcare, where we'll build 30,000 public housing, but 10,000 of which are going to be for workers, uh, where we're going to invest in cheaper electricity and we're going to create, aim to create an economy that is more productive and that that, that wealth is shared more equally. Uh, I guess, you know, being sick with COVID, it gives me a chance to reflect on how lucky I am that I'll get over this illness. But there are people in this community that have chronic illness, or when you've got kids, you're seeing the doctor all the time. And because bulk billing is dying one clinic at a time, people are now forced to pay to see a doctor. <clears throat> that is unfortunately emblematic of what happens when a government decides not to involve itself in the economy. It gets harder for people and it gets harder for the economy. Uh, you can't fit it all in in three minutes. I appreciate the opportunity very much and, uh, and look forward to seeing you in real life.